What is the story of the movie? A rampant drug addiction has been tightly controlling everything, and Simon Makowiecki, a history teacher at a high school, is quite worried about his kids. A student has died from an overdose, and Simon learns that someone in the neighborhood surrounding the school has been selling fentanyl to students and getting them addicted to the highly addictive synthetic opioid. After some time has passed, he phones his close buddy Damien Nowicki to beg for assistance, realizing that he cannot solve the problem on his own. Since the untimely passing of his wife, Damien, who was a police officer until recently, hasn't been in contact with anyone. Damien had been operating undercover as a police officer inside one of Poland's most significant drug cartels at the time, but his personal information had somehow reached them. The price Damien had to pay in exchange for his success in apprehending the gang's leader and dismantling it was the loss of his beloved wife. Damien had already had her dead by the time he could run home. Following this, the man had left the police department and had become utterly despondent with both life and love. Even after Simon contacts him and informs him that he is unable to help, he continues to act in this manner. Though the scenario has been created to imply that Simon had been the leader of the new gang selling fentanyl and had committed suicide for some reason, authorities discover Simon's body inside a warehouse just a few days later. Damien had initially shown no interest, but he was now unable to continue living such a lie. Damien now chooses to resume his efforts after learning how deeply this tragedy has affected both Simon's wife and their teenage son Camille. Damien Nowicki accepts the position of new history teacher at the same high school, which is the epicenter of a drug ring, with the assistance of his former police force colleagues. How does Damien track down the actual crimes committers? The people who work there attempt to talk Damien out of accepting the position on the very day of his meeting with the school principal. Damien meets some of the other professors and co-workers while carrying out the plan, including the Polish teacher Agata, the chemistry teacher Stefan, and a few more. Despite the fact that the students pay Damien, the new teacher, no attention, the guy gradually gets acceptance following an encounter with Frogface, a dropout. Frogface assaults Agata in the parking lot that evening following a fight in class, and Damien steps in to stop it. He knocks up the attackers while displaying his great hand-to-hand -hand fighting abilities, saving Agata from harm. Agata feels an instant attraction to the man and has since expressed her interest in him in every circumstance. The two embark on a date, which raises the possibility that they may spend an intimate night together, but Damien pulls back at the last minute when flashes of his deceased wife's death come flooding back to him. It has become clear that the man is still grieving the loss of his partner since he abruptly leaves Agata's home. Due to her inability to comprehend Damien's actions, the woman understandably becomes resentful of him and restricts their interaction within the confines of their respective academic roles. The pupils were fairly amazed by their new teacher's skills as news of Damien's battle circulated across the school. They continued expressing a want to learn more, and Damien decides that this would be an excellent time to teach the adolescent self-defense techniques as they were frequently followed by drug dealers and goons. He constructs a training area with a few of these trainees and regularly instructs them in various self-defense lessons. Despite Camel's initial intense rage toward Damien for turning down his father's request for assistance, the youngster eventually came to understand and eventually joined Damien in his training sessions. As soon as the students have left the arena, a number of disguised men arrive since word of this arrangement spreads as well. Damien beats them up by himself once more, despite taking some hits himself. When Damien arrives at school the following day, he discovers that practically all of the private security guards have visible signs of beatings on their faces, almost proving that they were the ones who had disguised themselves and gone to attack him the day before. Damien hasn't been aware of this until now. But Kmielski, the agency's chief, has been shown to be the one forcing the pupils to use drugs and providing the peddling youngsters with the narcotics, thus this suspicion of his has already been proven to us viewers. With Jaziek's assistance, he now comes up with a more detailed strategy to bring Damien down and names Amelia, one of Damien's students, as his replacement. The young girl had once been hooked to strong drugs, but she had made an intentional effort to abstain from them for a while. Amelia finally gives in when Jaziek and his thugs approach her and threaten to beat up her father unless she agrees to their plan and helps them. 
she tells the principal and the other teachers about Damien's inappropriate behavior toward her at his training facility the following day at school. Damien is instantly fired and made to leave the school grounds, but Amelia can't help but become fentanyl-dependent once more. When he visits her home to find out the truth, Frogface also informs him that the drug was not being carried into the school but rather was being manufactured there. Damien tries to explain to Agata how Amelia's fabrication had led to his framing, but the woman is unreceptive, so he leaves her home with her duplicate set of school keys. Damien now walks into the school and observes drugs being removed from the area. In addition, he is able to observe Stefan, the chemistry instructor who is responsible for producing the medications. Though he can't photograph the man since doing so would jeopardize his stealth, he does manage to capture a few pictures of the vans that are transporting the drugs out of the property. The chemistry instructor is also called to the scene when he returns to the school the next day and informs Principal Zamoyski of all his discoveries. Although the latter denies any participation, Damien is once more turned away by the authorities, which makes his suspicions even more obvious. Because of this specific incident, it is all but obvious that Knielski is not the only person in charge, and it lessens the shock when Lesson Plan makes this revelation later. Damien, meantime, checks the security camera footage from the school's grounds and discovers that it has been deleted. When Amelia confronts Agata, the school principal, and her classmates with the truth about her lying, things finally start to go in his favor after some waiting on his part. Damien's training arena is visited once more by the students, who promise to assist him in any way they can. Agata also goes to Damien to make amends, and as a result, the two are able to finally have a sexual encounter. Additionally, she assists Damien in obtaining a top-secret letter that Simon had placed in his locker. This note is very useful because it pinpoints the precise position of the drugs inside the warehouse. While Simon only makes one appearance at the warehouse, the day he is killed, it is evident that he had been going there frequently to try to come up with a strategy to take down the drug organization. Now that Damien and Agata have arrived at the location, the true offenders are revealed there. Stefan, a chemistry teacher, had been visited by the two earlier. However, just as Stefan was ready to speak, Kmielski arrived on his motorcycle, opened fire, and then turned to Damien, giving him looks that were incredibly frightening. The gang's leader, Principal Zamoyski, now emerges at the warehouse, confirming Kmielski as one of the group's key players, despite this having already happened. Does Damien, at the very end, avenge Simon's death? At this point, Zamoyski and his gang are holding Agata captive and posing a serious threat to Damien when all of a sudden, his pupils start to show up one by one. One of the young people who was once a member of the drug gang but has now understood which side is right and switched over is in charge of this group of students. This capacity of Damien to be a wonderful life instructor as well as a good combatant is lauded as a major plus, along with the way everything else in the movie finishes. Damien takes on Knielski and eventually defeats him while the youths from the two sides battle one another. Then he rushes towards Samoyski, who is trying to present himself as a bad drug king who is only providing the rebellious students with cheap drugs and the sex that comes from them. Despite the fact that Damien knocks the principal to the ground, Samoyski produces a revolver and shoots Damien once in the shoulder. For a split second, it seems as though he could kill Damien, but any worries are allayed when Zamoyski is defeated by Camel after being showered with porcelain toys. As the police arrive and arrest Zamoyski and the rest of his men, Damien hands Camel the wristwatch that Simon used to wear. By the end of the movie, Damien and Camel have both been able to extract revenge for the deaths of their father and friend, and Damien has also been successful in driving out another drug group from Poland.